Welcome back to the All Dispersion Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Men's Volleyball Head Coach, All Dispersions, and Coach Team headed to New Jersey for the NCAA tournament, open with 15th ranked Elms, and swept them. Talk about that opening <laughs> match on Friday night. Um, that was great. Uh, that's a super start. It was definitely doable. Our, our team felt like they could take Elms. Uh, their head coach, Sheila, has a, just a great squad. Um, they have uh, uh, recruited boys from uh, Puerto Rico and Brazil you know, to mix with her team. And um, one of them was a newcomer of the year. And But I, I think our guys felt, felt really uh, um, confident that they could go in and, and uh, win that match. And they did. Um, I'm trying to remember <laughs> exactly what happened. Oh, Landon shorts pretty much uh it was kind of up and down until landing kind of broke it open with some uh aces he he really had a fantastic serving night and i'd say jared uh, n uh well jared said well but i meant the other jay jason j just had a fantastic uh finish to the season it just went up and up and up where he carried us in the front row and, and the back row at times yeah, after that win, on you faced Stevens, ranked third in the country, on their home court. They had a day of rest. Lost mm -hmm. in four, but competitive four sets. Talk about that match. Yeah, that was uh, uh, a fantastic opportunity to make it to the final four. Um, we were already in Elite Eight, and the guys were, like, super happy about that, and deservedly so. Uh, Stevens was ranked number three, pretty m or in the top five, I think, all year. Uh and they have a, a just a solid program, and um, they're senior top heavy. They had a graduate uh, student, actually, Gabe, who we couldn't stop. He was an outside. He definitely deserved All-American honors, as did the board, their other outside. Uh, we did a good job stopping their middles. Um, and I think the, the high point of that match was the second set, where we were... <laughs> Uh, I rem distinctly remember in the huddle, we lost the first set, you know, pretty close, and the guys were kind of down. I'm like thinking, why are we down? Here we are, you know, with a chance to get to the final four, and we're competitive against Stevens. Uh, the Ducks were, um, you know, starting to, you know, we we were we were able to side out with them, and then in, and I remember in a timeout in the second set, I said, "You guys, you really have to believe that you can win," because that was the the thing to getting to the final four. I don't think they really believed it. They kind of, you know, you talk about, uh, you can, you know, you earn your right to be here and all this stuff, you know, but uh, they really did. They 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 fought off nine <laughs> nine uh, set points in that second game, drove it up into the 30s. So that was just a fantastic win. And then we almost, we, we could have realistically taken the third set, but Steven showed why they were number three. They ran, ran off streaks of points when they needed to, and we work on that in practice a lot. And you can, at the highest level, you're siding out back and forth, and you're running into the 20s, and it's close. And the team that can run off a few points like they did, I think they had a streak of three or four points, and we got stuck in a rotation, which I think I could have done a better job of doing something different. Um, I have it in my mind now, but I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> next year but uh uh it happens you know you get stuck in rotations and then you know they were they were the better team that day now that the season's kind of come to an end and it you know it, a few days ago you win the mac title regular season mm -hmm. and tournament champions in the inaugural year make it to the second NSA tournament appearance in program mm -hmm. history what are your your kind of initial thoughts right now on the season as a whole I just think it's fantastic for the freshmen, the five freshmen that, that I have that, um, you know, and that the seniors here and the juniors this year, they showed the way to the to, to the underclassmen that they're not going to have to believe next year. They're going to already have that. You know, they're going to just compete hard and take, uh, take away and earn, earn a lot of wins from a lot of people, I think, next year. Um, we are... I, I just like to thank a couple people. Um, we are losing two seniors, Alex Klunk and Andy Van Tyne, and I just really enjoyed coaching them the past two years. They had more ex NCAA experience than I had. They, they made it their, their uh, sophomore year. Um, and I'd like to thank uh, LJ and Corinne, who were on the bench th from the women's team. They were working hard there, you know, helping with stats. And they, they keep the bus 
rides kind of normal. And when the guys get out of control where I can't control them. Um, and I'd like to thank the training staff, Connor and Brandon. We had a lot of injuries this year. I think we talked about them on different episodes with, uh, you know, some guys close to deathbed. Kyle Bosco <laughs> for one, wanting to go on a California trip and kind of slip in on the plane. And uh, But anyway, he, he actually I wanted to mention him in the Stevens match, the fourth set, which was pretty much out of control. He came in, and we got within striking range at 16 to 10. Um, so he's, he'll be a, a super asset next year. And then uh, I'd like to thank um, Brent Whitehead, my uh, uh you can call him an assistant coach. I call him a co-coach. Uh, he just gives the greatest warm-up speeches. And not only that, he's my head scout and uh, helps me in practice on the bench. And, I'll, you know, I'll, he could take over the program. I'm supposed to do his performance review. I think he could do my performance review. Uh, anyway, and then our, our uh, chief photographer, Brett Adams. You know, he's been there in California and came up to watch us there at Stevens. And he's also the AD, supports the men's team. That's it. I wanted to make sure I thank those guys. We had a wonderful season because of them. Well, I'll keep uh, the thank yous rolling. And thank you for coming here week in and week out and sitting down and doing this. And see you next year. Okay. Thanks, Sam. For thanks, head Joe. <laughs> for head coach Aldis Bersons, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Aldis Bersons Show.